All right, guys, so in this next section, we're going to be talking about the pulling down exercise. So I'd say the first thing about the pulling down exercise is people mistake it really for meditation. It's not really a meditation, although I can understand why people think it's meditation. Now, the basic idea of the pulling down exercise is what we're going to be doing is we're going to be bringing energy down into the body. Now, the, I've found that the best thing to, to, to explain this is just to kind of be upfront about upfront to people. The pulling down exercise is based on something called chi. Uh, you might have heard about it in terms of prana, organ energy, ether, and basically there's an energy that permeates the whole universe. And when you bring this energy into any form of organism, it, it makes that organism thrive. It's its, it's life force. Um, it's a little bit difficult for people to understand, especially the Western mind, but definitely all the Eastern philosophies understand chi. Um, in terms of science, there is something called quantum mesh, which scientists, quantum scientists have actually discovered, and that is actually chi. It can be measured, and in humans, you can feel it. Now, what happens in life is this, this natural chi uh, tends to run down the body, or naturally it should run down the body and up the back. It's called the microcosmic energy in, in, in kind of qigong and whatnot. But the problem is these days that the way that we live our lives is that a lot of this energy is moving upwards. And a lot of various meditations like Kundalini meditation or various yogic exercises or various forms of Tantra all tend to move energy upwards. And what we found today is that's a really, really bad way of moving energy. The problem is when you're moving energy upwards, it spaces you out, it ungrounds you, it makes you feel out of sorts, it doesn't connect you with the earth. Now, the issue that we've got today is that our life in general, at this present time in the 21st century, is too yin. Maybe a thousand years ago when the earth was much more yang, moving energy upwards much, was much more safer. But we want to be getting away from anything that's too yin. And moving energy upwards is super, super yin. So we don't want to do that. We want to move energy downwards. So when you're doing the pulling down exercise, you've got to first understand it's not designed to be relaxing. You're not going to be sitting there for 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour, feeling zen and blissed out. A lot of people who start the program and start the pulling down exercise will just stop doing it because they say, oh, I wasn't feeling relaxed. I wasn't feeling blissful. That's not the point. The idea is that we want to be bringing as, mu bringing as much of this chi, this life force, this etheric energy into the body as possible. Because when we do that, we're basically giving life to our organism, we're giving life to ourselves. So the basic technique of doing the pulling down exercise is you want to be laying down or sitting down. In general, laying down tends to be easier. And you want to be imagining and visualizing this energy moving through the body. Now, on Dr. Wilson's website, there is, again, an extensive article on the pulling down exercise where he talks about specific visualizations that you can do to make the pulling down exercise more powerful. My personal favorite is just lying in a stream of energy and just visualizing it moving through. Um, you can imagine it going around the body in like a, like a toroidal ribbon shape. Uh, you can imagine a vacuum cleaner uh, sucking the energy through the body. Um, but... For some people, they can feel this energy, you know, and you are supposed to feel it. I was one of the lucky ones where I could feel this energy. Um, in the beginning, the energy was kind of flowing around the top of my head because I was so ungrounded and I was so yin that the energy was just up here somewhere doing its own thing. Over time, I managed to visualize it moving downwards, and now I can feel it running down my body from head to feet. It aligns my spine, it aligns my structure, my muscles start to tingle sometimes when I'm doing it. And it's important to understand that this is an exercise, it's a procedure. Think of it like a hit class. You wanna be really pulling as much energy into the body as possible because it's gonna detoxify the brain, it's gonna massage the internal organs, it's gonna restructure internal organs, it's gonna lengthen out the spine. It does so many amazing things and a lot of people don't understand why we sometimes say that the pulling down exercise is arguably one of the most important parts of the, of the program. They don't understand it. They don't understand it because no one talks to them about the spiritual aspect of the world. And the, the, the truth of the world is that we're all energetic beings, we're all energy beings, and we do have this eth etheric energy that permeates the whole of space. 
um, that will run through you and give you uh, life energy. Now, while you're doing the pulling down exercise, the reason why sometimes it gets mixed in with meditation is because it is a little bit like meditation in, 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 in that you're focusing on one specific thing, just like in uh, other forms of meditation, you focus on the breath. On this, you're focusing on pulling down this energy. So what happens when you're focusing on that is that the brain comes into alignment, it comes into present. And the brain is a little bit like a filing cabinet. We have various memories that go all the way back to childhood. And when you bring the mind into a certain alignment, what you'll find is that the brain will naturally go through a filing system. So in the beginning, you'll be concentrating on the energy and you'll be like, oh, I forgot to, you know, I forgot to pick the kids up. I hope you didn't forget to do that. But that's something that might come up. <laughs> I forgot to pick up the groceries. I forgot to write this down. I forgot to write that down. In general, it's a good idea to have a notepad just to write these, gen these things down that come up. But as you keep doing it, as you get deeper and deeper and deeper, sometimes some old traumas that you didn't want to think about will tend to rise to the surface. And that's when you want to be getting in touch with your practitioner because you might go through a trauma release or something like that. So that's basically the idea of the pulling down exercise. It's so important to, to realize that it kind of does two things. One, it's bringing the, this energy, this life force into the body that's good, that gives life to everything. And secondly, um, you will go through... Uh, a, a memory retracing process where old memories, old thoughts, old ways of thinking uh, will tend to rise to the surface. And another thing I want to add on to it is that uh, by doing this and by bringing this energy downward, uh, you are bringing, um, you know, you might not be religious, but it's kind of the energy of God, the energy of the creator into your body. And you'll get little like intuitions, little tips, little visions, little ideas and, you know, a lot of my business ideas and a lot of my relations and a lot of my kind of thinking or creative thinking has often come from doing the pulling down exercise because that's where I get a lot of information. So I hope that's kind of summed it up a little bit. Um, Susan, do you want to add on to that? Yeah, I just wanted to add that sometimes people at the beginning, they get frustrated and they give up because they don't feel that feeling that they're expecting to feel. and stick with it because it does come. The other thing that I often hear from people is when they're doing it, um, they'll run into a place where they get stuck, where things are blocked and the energy is stuck. Um, and I know I've talked to Dr. Wilson about that. And, you know, it's a matter of just keeping on doing it and pushing through. And eventually you'll get through that. You'll get through that blockage. Um, and that can take time. And so again, we think about this as being a marathon. This is something that is going to help you all the way through and it will get easier and easier. And you may go through periods of time and go, wow, I, I felt like I was better with this like four months ago. Um, and you'll go through a spot where things are coming up and it's not quite as smooth and then you'll, that'll pass. So just keep with it because the benefits are, are definitely huge. So, yeah. And, and this, it, this is actually like a marathon. I say to people, yeah. if you run a marathon, you're not going to be able to run it in a week. The brain is the monkey mind. It is like a beehive and it is like a muscle. And you've really, really got to practice the pulling down exercise for you to get good at it. It took me a good two months exactly. to, yeah. to, to learn how to do it. And it's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't do any mind focusing exercises they don't do meditation often enough because it's tricky it's difficult it's difficult to do and you need to realize that it's not meant to be relaxing per se um if if meditation was easy i'm pretty sure everyone would do it because everyone understands the benefits of meditation so give it time you know and and definitely see it as a marathon it's going to take you months potentially for you to feel comfortable with it but the more exactly. of the pulling down exercise, the better. After you get into a habit of doing it, you'll generally find that if you just relax, you'll, you'll, you'll know that subconsciously you start pulling energy downwards. It happens to me, I'm walking or in the car, I'm just pulling energy downwards. And sometimes I'm just unaware of it because subconsciously, your subconscious brain is doing it. It's really strange. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Good. Cool. All right, guys. Well, yeah, I think that's it for the pulling down exercise. Um, Dr. Wilson has got a huge article on it, so check it out. Uh, but for the next video, we're going to be going on to reflexology, spinal twist, and dry skin brushing.